glasses in. All right, and we're live. Oh, Dave. The, oh, the I wonder, work? are they readers? What are they? No, uh, but, no? The, but the I, bottom are readers. <laughs> I think I'll be fine since I stole your phone. Let's see here. I'm going to wear Dave's. Hey, they, they're not too bad. There you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you look through the bottom. What is today? Oh. Tuesday? Ooh, time for tacos. I'm just kidding. All right. I'm going to pull up the Ghosty Girl page real quick sure. off of your uh, phone here, Dave. Let's go over oh, here. We're we should the same be streaming. I know. Dave had to lower his chair like half a foot, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good morning, everyone. How are y'all doing? We're already getting comments. What's up, Dan Trey? Hey. All right. So you guys know when I have a guest here at the radio station, uh, it's done a little bit different the way I word things because we're going to also put this video on Jack FM's website, but it airs on the radio too. So if you're listening in the car to Jack FM, hey, 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 from the, the go-to girl and Dave Rue this morning, <laughs> you're tuning in for, uh, I think it's my fourth episode of That's What's Up Texoma with the go-to girl. So welcome to the show, Dave. All right. So we got folks hopping on. Uh, real quick, do me a favor, uh, yeah, hit the hearts, hit the hearts. If you're in the, the car, obviously you can't do that. But if you're watching live on Facebook, you guys can hit the hearts and give this video a share. Thank you guys. See the hearts are popping up there. Yes. Yeah, perfect. All right. So uh, I'm going to have Dave introduce himself. But before I do that, I've got to tell you guys, it is so crazy. Yesterday, I was thumbing through um, my memories. And can you believe, six years ago, on the very same day yesterday, uh, we were doing a video together. We've known each other for forever and forever and forever. So, real quick, uh, Dave, tell me who you are and what, what you do. Like, what, what does Dave do? Who are you? <laughs> tell me, Shy. <shy. laughs> Absolutely. All right. It's so great to be here. So... Basically, I've been doing defensive driving for about 30,000 hours total, which includes Sue's Drive Right, which got started in 2005, but I taught defensive driving started in 1997. Wow. So, are, are you still doing defensive driving, like courses, or, or what, what exactly are you doing now with it? We do live classes at Pizza Hut on Jacksboro Highway once every four weeks in their party room. Ooh, not, you know what's cool is everybody winds up needing defensive driving at one point in their life, I swear. Almost everybody. If you've got a heavy foot like myself, <laughs> really? Like, in fact, I mean, I've needed defensive driving. I've known people that have asked me where to get defensive driving. So I want to know from our audience. Now, obviously, if you're in the car and you're listening, you know, don't be speeding and needing, you know, unless you want to come see Dave. But um, let me know. I want to know from my viewers who has taken defensive driving before. So I want to know about that. Now, I remember I loved it because you used to do a deal way back when at Golden Corral. Yes. Like, there is no Golden Corral now. <laughs> no. Oh, everybody hit the sad face if you miss Golden Corral. I kind of miss it. I didn't miss it when we had it. But now that we don't have Golden Corral, I'm like, I kind of want Golden Corral. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, so uh, I'm going to turn this down for you, too, because is it playing in your ear? Is the phone? I thought so. I thought I could hear it playing. So we're going to turn that off so you're not hearing me double. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. All right, so uh, so you are doing def you still do defensive driving. Does that help people dismiss speeding tickets and things like that? Absolutely. And everybody goes there with a frown on their face and... At least 9 out of 10 are happy when they leave. Perfect. Perfect. Y'all, isn't Dave so sweet because he wasn't complaining at all that he can hear me <laughs> in his ear? And, oh, my God, you were too nice. <laughs> so, all right. So, now you have a Facebook page as well right, right now, and you're in the middle of some changes. Yes, absolutely in the middle of changes. And Facebook page is Dave's Driving Tutor what you're going to want to go to if you want your teenagers to learn lots of things where it sh will definitely improve their odds of not getting in an incident with the vehicle. 
and you know that can save people a ton of money um you know I work in insurance and it really does help to have drivers training um it really helps to do that but not only that you got to think about it really can um is this the right one what? yes yes okay so you really got to think about the safety for your kids as well it's so dangerous the roads are getting crazier people cut people like right now we were on our way and me and dave were on our way over here we rode together and because we were catching up in the car and stuff and it was so crazy because this one car was coming our way and it looked like it wanted to turn it looked like it was in the like i don't know what they were doing do you know i don't know what they were doing they were dazed and confused and going 20 miles an hour <laughs> down weird. Camp Boulevard towards us. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, that's perfect for that to happen in front of Dave. Dave and I was like, they need your class. <laughs> like, clearly they need your class. I think I probably need to take your, one of your classes. So this is cool. So tell me a little bit about the driving school, how that works. Well, Dave's driving tutor was formed because me and my wife, when we started Sue's Drive Right, was in the process of how do we save kids. I lost so many classmates growing up, and now it seems like, as far as the incidents, it's much, much worse. As far as losing lives, maybe a little less so, because the cars are so safe. Our human behaviors has put together the very first class. It is actually a life class, Okay. And parents really need to see this in addition. So if they sign up for our summer class and I get the info of your email, I'll go ahead and give you the link to our $49 class on awareness versus focus. Okay. And so, I mean, it's kind of neat because you have interactive stuff and stuff like that. And you, you kind of give them more of life lessons too and how to react to stuff. Or how does that work? Okay, the first class is awareness versus focus. So what that does is teenagers nowadays by default are focused. That can't be your default setting when you're driving. You have to be aware, you have to realize you cannot be the social manager when you're driving. You leave that to somebody else. You've got to be aware of everything outside the car to get everybody there safely. That that's so true, and you know, literally, guys, we all know you get so many things going on when you're in the car, and it's so dangerous. Um, but if you think about it, we're grown adults. We're used to. I don't know if I'm grown. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I I hit the heart through that. Like seriously, I don't know. But we're adults, and we're used to situations coming up and being aware to what to look out for, or. You know, if you see something ahead, you know you've got to get over or, you know, being aware of, of and and then being aware of, like, there's more to this. Like, what can happen? Like, you, I don't know if you show them those scary videos that, you know, of accidents, but I remember when I was a kid, they would show you brutal accidents of what can happen. And so, uh, this kind of takes the driving school to the next level. And I don't even know, I don't, I don't know if school even offers that type of thing anymore, but you can send them here to, uh, Dave's, Dave's, which is it again? So Dave's driving Dave's tutor. Dave's driving tutor. And what we do is everything in our power to prevent incidents. We will later on train people that are under 18 on how to drive. That's in the works, but you have to have specialized cars. We do train everybody that has a driver's license, especially after they've had a little fender bender or they just want help. We use their vehicle and we've been doing that for years. So Kathleen has taught paraplegics how to drive. She is my very best instructor. Wow, that is really cool. So you, you can, I mean, that's specialized. That's, you know, that's very tough, I'm sure, to teach that because you have to think that way in order to teach them. So that's yes. very specialized. So guys, if you're watching and you're just catching this, because a lot of you are hopping on, um, it's Tuesday morning and I've got Dave Rue on. I've known Dave for a very long time. And if you're listening to this in the car and you're just kind of tuning into the radio station on Jack FM, 
uh, then you can find out about Dave's driving tutor. You can also do defensive driving. And so uh, you can book, and then it's down at, where is it at, Pizza Hut? At Pizza Hut on Jacksboro Highway. Just go ahead. You can text me at 322-2103. Or find you- Sue's Drive Right. Facebook page to message me or even Dave's driving tutor just message me. Perfect. So that's another thing. And drive right, Sue's drive right. Is it R I T E or yes, is it? R-I-T-E. Okay, I thought so. It's been a while. So I'm also going to post that in the comments too. So you can just follow that. You can shoot him a message on Facebook. Um, and that way you can follow that. And if you guys need defensive drive, now I know some companies, I mean, I'm. You know, it's kind of red tape, but I do insurance. Remind y'all if y'all need an insurance quote. Uh, Some insurance companies, like the one I work with, um, I'm contracted under the agent, uh, which is really cool. That one accepts the defensive driving certificate. So when they do your defensive driving course, they get their certificate, right? Yes. Yeah, and that can help you lower your rates with some companies. It can also help you dismiss a speeding ticket. And let me tell you, I've seen a lot of incidents where people, young drivers have had an accident. They cannot get certain discounts. They can't, uh, because they've had an accident, their rates are extremely, um, they're already at high anyways for a youthful driver. They're already high anyways. So if you're literally, um, if you're in that boat or you have a grandkid or, you know, if they're getting close to that age, you got to remember that uh, spend a little bit now. It's a wise investment. It's a very wise investment for the future because here's the thing, guys. Uh, saving them 50 to to $100 a month, you could have just give them as paid for that class and really got in their head because I remember and I'm going to ask you guys some questions let's see I'm going to read some of these comments good morning Rick good morning rustic trails and treasure the loaded brush Greg Arrington you're in Kickapoo good morning Greg uh Maria hey girl um so I'm going to ask you all a few questions here do y'all remember taking a defensive driving do you remember listening I remember hearing that there's one specific thing That I remember is how many, you know, you got to stay so many car lengths from behind other cars. And that's really true because we're so distracted. I mean, I'm a a distracted driver. But I try not to. You know, I try not to be. So, for the kids, I think that's a really good way to get them, you know, those little things in the back of their head. Because subconsciously, even if they're like, I don't want to go to a class. You know. (laughs) Still. You know, still subconsciously, those things, you know, and some kids find it interesting to learn about driving. I mean, they all want to drive. They want to drive bad enough, they'll probably take the class, say, well, you're not going to drive unless you take Dave's class. So, I think that's awesome. So, what are the age groups that you have as far as, like, training on driving? Because I know you can be any age to do the defensive driving. So... Dave's driving tutor courses at Vernon College. We've got a, there are four days classes for session one and three, June 5th through the 8th, July 10th through the 13th. That's 1 to 4 p.m. Uh, Juneteenth is coming up, so that's a shortened class. That's June 20 to the 22nd. That's $100. The other two are $120. And it also includes one day, Monday through Thursday, from 1 to 5 p.m., a group of up to six individuals will experience distracted driving, different driving scenarios, and our high-tech virtual reality driving simulator. Ooh, exciting. A virtual reality driving simulator. I swear half of Wichita Falls needs that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and Burke Burnett and Novel Park. I'm just saying, guys. Tag a bad driver, y'all. <laughs> That's, if you're listening on the radio and you can't tag anyone, you can watch on Facebook on the GoTo Girl on Facebook and you can comment what you think. So I want to know out of, let's, let's do a little, I'm going to read some of these. Uh, the loaded brush says I took defensive driving once online. This is a great opportunity in person. Yes, because it takes forever to do it online because you've got other things going on. You log in, you log out and, you know, reading all that and then passing the test. It's, it's more fun. I'm sure in, um, in person, uh, good morning, grafted tree and lawn. If you're hopping on, this is Dave Rubin. 
good friends with Dave for a long time. Uh, he is a guy that just knows a lot of people as well and uh, does a lot of networking. And, you know, that's kind of how we came across each yes. other was networking and really working uh you know, I back back in my day, <laughs> my, <laughs> that was my days when I when I first came to Wichita Falls. He was a really cool guy to be around. I do want to mention a few things real quick. The art walk is coming up. Super. Oh my gosh, who loves the art walk? I love the art walk. Uh, that's coming up. We've got uh, I've got a few bookings definitely that I need to get booked in June. And I also gave the Loaded Brush a link that uh, you can get a discounted rate on your video right now if you use her link. So later, I'm going to have you put that in the comments, the Loaded Brush. So uh, if you use her payment link, you get a discount on your video for a morning show on the show. Not necessarily the radio show. That's a little <laughs> bit more uh, but you can get a morning show at my Big Blue studio uh, as well. It just doesn't get put on Jack. Everybody wants to be on that radio, though. Come on, <laughs> for just a little bit more. Uh, I'm also doing commercial ads for Jack. Uh, partnered up with them and Stormforce Media. So I now offer radio spots, $5 a spot. You're not going to get that anywhere else. You're no. not going to You're not going to get that. I'll even help you uh, kind of with your writing of your commercial you know i'll make sure you give me a summary you want of how you want your commercial and then we get that over there and get that written there is a minimum there's no contract there's Super. actually no contract it's a three-month minimum and the cool thing with the radio is when you do a commercial with them they play it that you can select how many plays you want for five dollars each as long as you do the minimum uh, you don't make one big up upfront payment. You just pay it the first of each month. So there's a lot of cool reasons why you should do that. And I have to give a big shout out to Jack FM for allowing me to give. Have you heard of that ever? No. Like five dollars a commercial and literally no contract and no big upfront fee and a three like just a three month minimum. You're you're not gonna Sounds get that great. anywhere else. You're not. So if you want to grow your business. Invest in your business and that well, I'm telling you it's been working for me like ever since I started uh, doing things with Jack FM It's just continued to grow So uh, if you want to also if you just want to get on the radio with me like Dave You can book with me. I can send you the link that I sent Dave You can get set up get your video on here guys get this out there and we will uh, tell the world about you so um, So guys all right, so I want to know uh, let's let's take it. I'm gonna ask and you don't have to say why, but out of let's put some small towns in here. Uh, Henrietta, Iowa Park, Burke Burnett, Wichita Falls, and where's another where's another place people drive around here? That's that's you know um, out of those towns, who do you think has the worst drivers? <laughs> no. I'm serious. <laughs> Just to spice things up a little bit, like is it Wichita Falls? Or is it a small town? I want to know. What do y'all think? I mean, some of y'all are from small towns. Did people just run that? You know, I don't know. I know when I lived in a small town, we like you'd be surprised at who you saw doing what they were doing in the street. Donuts yes. everywhere. So I kind of want to know. Do you think it's? Uh, what do you think about that? Let's let's get some feedback. Uh, oh, Rustic Trail says Electra. She did. Wow. <laughs> wow. Send the tag the Electra Trading Group. <laughs> Time for the satellite office. Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right. Henrietta says the loaded brush a thousand percent. <laughs> and so it's kind of cool, too, when you listen on the radio. If you're commenting and stuff, you can get special shout outs. Uh, and you can, you know, hear yourself on the radio, too, like my viewers that are watching. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Rick Garcia, he's like, nope, which top balls. So it's really, really neat. Um, now, Guys, we've got about 10 minutes left. If you have questions, go ahead and throw them in for Dave. Uh, just to re-kind of summarize, you know, in case you, for whatever reason, come across this later in the game here. Uh, we're on the radio, or we're going to be on the radio. This is going to air in the end of June or beginning of July, but it's live right now. So we need to get this out there for him to book this course. So you can find information on Sue's Drive Right. He can message you there, or you can go to Dave's Driving Tutor. I commented with both of those. If you're listening on the radio, you can go to the Go To Girl page on Facebook. You can find this video, and you can also comment or ask questions as well if you want to do that. Or if you just want to support local, you can come to the page and give local businesses a share. 
a lot of what I do is supporting people that are really working to do different things in the community that are doing helpful things, you know, in the community. So let's get that out there. I want to get as many businesses and many people like Dave that are providing something really good to, you know, the youth and the people here in town. I want to keep this going and I want to see it keep growing. So uh, let me know. <clears throat> uh, Rick says I-44 I going to the casino is pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, w I would say you're right. I would say you're right. That's a good one. That's a good spot where people get a little you know, comfortable on the street. So, uh, definitely guys, you know, I know it's getting harder, especially with, it seems like Wichita Falls has more and more like road work and stuff going on. You well, know? there's that, but then we have so many courses there. The life course that we call a driving course. We also do what we call the battle of the sexes and rural versus urban because there's so many real drivers here, most people don't understand. There's a huge difference in how those populations drive. There's a big difference between country and ladies and, and... Oh, really? Is yes. there a difference? Is it, oh, do we want to start a debate? <laughs> the debate isn't like, good or bad because <laughs> all of them are different. We can have a debate. Yes. So with guys, they get in wrecks almost all the time when they challenge themselves, like on the way home from work or a party, they're by themselves, they go on a road, they're on a 50 mile an hour curve. Well, I took this curve at 60 miles an hour last week, I bet I can do it at 65. Bam. Boom! Yeah. Ladies, they haven't quite learned that when they're driving, they shouldn't be the social director sometimes. And they get involved in conversation <laughs> and boom. <laughs> I think that is true. Like, I really think that's true. Except I think I'm a combination of both. I'm this <laughs> <laughs> Just call me a tomboy because I'm like, ooh. This, okay, cops, I hope if you're listening. <laughs> Y'all didn't remember that. But seriously, I drive a, a red car, not a white one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Seriously, seriously. So what do y'all think? What is your feedback in the comments? Because it does make a difference. And it's statistically proven. A lot of what you teach is statistically proven that those are, that there is a difference. Uh, you know, we're going to start that conversation. I think there is a difference. So let's see here. How many guys do we have watching and how many ladies do we have watching? Obviously, if you're listening in the radio, you're probably thinking, oh. You know, vice versa. Obviously, I'm like, men are bad drivers. And then, the, you know, if you're in the radio and you're like, oh, women are bad drivers or whatever. But seriously, want to know in the feedback, um, nothing hateful, obviously. But leave us a comment of why, you, what you think that someone would do. Um, so we'll, we'll have you do that. Uh, Rustic says, it's really sad about young drivers who lose their lives. And mm -hmm. exactly. Absolutely. Are women bad drivers? Yes. Are men by bad drivers? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'll end the debate. That. <laughs> that's what's up, Tech Tobo. Seriously. Seriously. So, guys, we've only got a few more minutes. Uh, obviously, I have to wrap this up and keep it under a certain amount of time. Uh, but I do want to just reiterate to go over and show some support to Dave. So, after this video or after you listen into it, obviously, don't start tapping on your phone <laughs> in the car <laughs> if you're listening because we're trying to tell you how to be a good driver here. But I want you to uh, definitely go over to his Facebook page or just look him up. You know, he's got a lot of cool things that you can stay. The best way for me to help people is to let you know he's got some changes going on. But if you message him on Facebook, uh, he can answer those. You've got your phone number on there, I'm sure. He can answer those questions, get you set up, send you a link, or, you know, get you the class information you need. Or if you just need dr defensive driving because, again, you had a ticket, he's a good uh, page to follow because you never know. I think a lot of it, you know, some people uh, don't do well on the online-only courses because you're just sitting there reading and, you know, and then you watch all those cheesy little... <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I'm sure that they don't update those very often. They're not very interesting, is what I can say. So. Well, absolutely, they're not very interesting. In the back of my mind, I have a full-fledged online course that would be very engaging and interesting. Cool. But you're looking at about another two years away. Okay. 
And then you do have an instructor too that helps. Kathleen is a better instructor than I am. So she teaches the course generally. She gets a 99% rating from students generally. Wow. I get a 97, so it's like, Kathleen, <laughs> you're Shout teaching out. all the Shout time. Shout out, awesome. Well guys, I think you are so awesome and I appreciate you uh, watching guys. And again, if you know someone that has a youthful driver or you know, if you just need defensive driving, be sure to tag them. I uh, appreciate you for being on. I do. I do. You've so, been following me for years. We've been friends for many years now. Yes. And so I hope you all, all have a great day. Stay tuned. I do need to get some videos booked for June. Uh, so if you send me a message or use that link that the Loaded Brush has, uh, we can get that set up for you. So that's what's up, Texoma. That's what's up. Stay tuned for another episode tomorrow morning. I'll be live again at 7.30 to 8.00. Be there or be square and get there safely. Drive right, okay? Get with get <laughs> with Dave. Yes, get there safely. All right, smooches. Y'all have a great day. Wave Dave. Bye. 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 <laughs>